Good morning, guys. Um, I know it's been a while uh, since I've done a YouTube post, and I'm sorry for that. It's been a crazy um, several months. Um, and now we're in the midst of a pandemic, so I hope everyone is staying safe out there and your loved ones also. Um, so, obviously, we've many of us are having to work from home um, to do our jobs. I am a reporter and I've gotten many questions on how are you doing reports or stories, packages from your house. So, I thought it would be interesting to post exactly how I'm getting it done. Um, I've sort of set up my own in-home studio with a green screen, lights, mics, all of that um, to be able to pr produce content from home. So basically this is my little setup here in the kitchen. My husband has his workspace over there too. Um, but yeah, this is how I've been getting it done. I am going to show yeah. you my studio that I sort of built in the basement. And the reason why I was whispering before is because obviously I'm working from home and my husband and I are sharing the space. So, um, you know, he was on conference call, so we just have to work around each other. All right, guys, so look, this is the green screen I set up right here. Um, I have to steam it uh, to get those lines, lines out. Can't even talk. Um, but anyway, look, and then these are my lights right here. And I literally just set it up every single day um, to be able to do my hits as needed. And I will show you how that goes. So this is my green screen setup right here. And then I have my little stool with my makeup. Um, and this is what the studio setup looks like. These are my lights. Um, so I've literally become my own light camera person, editor, everything, uh, working from home, which is always great. I was a one-man band in Vegas, for those of you who don't know, and um, it's kind of brought me back to my roots a little bit. When I started off in Vegas in college, I was my own camera person, editor, writer, producer, all of that. So, I mean, it's always great with any industry that you're in if, you know, knowledge is power. So if you can always educate yourself to make you more valuable, uh, that's always a plus. So I have literally learned a lot about lighting during this time. I've learned that when you're on a green screen, more light is better. And it doesn't matter how much light you shine on you. You don't have to worry about a reflection in the green screen. I have to steam this again, but it's getting, it's okay for now. But anyway, when you're doing a plasma, like a plasma is typically like a large TV, you wanna have more light. However, it has to be higher up. Otherwise you're gonna see the reflections of the lights in the screen like these notice how they're like they look like umbrellas a little bit so typically with my plasma when i'm doing a plasma it's about here so you want to have the light bulb higher up so it doesn't reflect in the screen um but yeah this is my little setup and right here i put my phone it's amazing what you could do with technology these days because a lot of phones have better cameras and are better quality than a lot of different, you know, professional cameras for TV. So I am trying to get set up right now for my hit. And then if you look right here, that's the camera. I usually have my iPad here uh, for any points that I want to reference during my hit or my stand up or anything like that. I have to, I'm a little bit shiny, so I'm going to have to, um, you know, put some powder on and everything like that. Three, two, one. While humans have yet to step foot on Mars, the race to the red planet is heating up. Agencies from three different countries are launching space probes this month, but it's the United Arab Emirates that's set to make history if their launch is successful. So I actually am going to track now and I use this app called Motive, M-O-T-I-V, and it looks like this, see, and I have my mic on it. I just literally plug it in 
and I'm going to track and you could watch me track. Three, two, one. Today, the race to Mars continues. The US, China, and the United Arab Emirates all plan to launch spacecrafts to the Red Planet this summer. The three countries taking advantage of the favorable alignment when Earth and Mars are closest, which is about 34 million miles apart. But if they miss their two week launch windows, they'll have to wait until September 2022 for another chance. And then I stop recording and I am going to then email it to myself so I can cut it up. Share. And I typically just send it using like WeTransfer or Dropbox or even like with audio if you don't have, um, if you don't have, I guess, any video with it, you could just email it to yourself. It doesn't really uh, hurt the quality that much. However, when you send a file that has video with it, it could pixelate it. It could um, downgrade the quality to be able to uh, compact the file so it's small enough to send via email. So that's why you always have to use a third party uh, folder like we transfer Dropbox or something like that. So it doesn't compress the file and lose quality. Hey guys, okay, so since I tracked and I did my on-camera stand-ups and everything, I changed into something a little bit more comfortable. Perks of working from home. But anyway, um, I now will show you the final product now that it's been edited and all the audio has been adjusted and we keep in the background um, for my story. Now, although humans have yet to step foot on Mars, the race to the red planet is heating up. Agencies from three different countries are launching probes this month, but it's the United Arab Emirates that's set to make history if their launch is successful. Today, the race to Mars continues. The US, China, and the United Arab Emirates all plan to launch spacecrafts to the Red Planet this summer. The three countries taking advantage of the favorable alignment when Earth and Mars are closest, which is about 34 million miles apart. But if they miss their two-week launch windows, they'll have to wait until September 2022 for another chance. Planet Earth only gets the opportunity to launch to Mars every 26 months because that's when Earth and Mars are aligned such that you can cut down on travel time and take the minimum amount of fuel and energy to get there. While China plans to send its inaugural Mars probe, a small remote-controlled rover, between July 20th and July 25th, the UAE is set to launch its first spacecraft called HOPE. It aims to capture the most comprehensive picture yet of the planet's atmosphere. But with its planned July 14th launch delayed because of weather conditions, it was slated to take off July 16th, but was postponed again because of the weather. While the team plans to announce a new launch date soon, if successful, it would be the first Arab country to visit the Red Planet, joining an elite club of nations that have studied the Martian atmosphere. This mission to Mars is really for the hope of the Arab world and sending them a message to say, you can be better, you can improve your country, you can reach where you want. Now, of course, the team wants to keep momentum going. However, in order for that to happen, they have to successfully launch HOPE first. And if they don't do it before August 12th, they risk losing this summer's launch window and they might have to wait until 2022. All right, you guys. Well, that's the story. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And if there's anything specific that you'd like to see, leave a comment below. I am reading them. I want to know what you guys want to see and learn more about. I am happy to help in any way that I can, whether it be the editorial process, the production process, or even if you have questions about equipment or certain terminology, anything that I could do to help. I'm here and uh, I really appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll see you soon. Until next time.